Then we can do it on. Oh god. This section. Tribal Nations. Just when I was reading this document weeks ago, when I got to the first page, uh, the Democrat. Yeah, let's see. Uh, oh boy. When I got to the Democrat and National Conventions, land acknowledgement, I was just like. They know they're on other people's lands. They know it's on like tribal nations' lands, and are named all the tribal nations which like um, Chicago is on. So too, but that's kind of like we know that we these people are here. Are you going to do land back? Yeah, exactly. So here we go, tribal nations. Okay, the semi-sovereign nations. But President Biden's relationship with tribal nations and their like citizens is built on respect for like tribal sovereignty and self governance, honoring federal trust and like treaties responsibilities. Ha! I believe it when I see it. And protecting tribal lands and conducting regular, meaningful, and robust con consolidation consultation with tribal nations. The tribal nations just want to be recognized and have the treaties be honored. And something like that, will want, will want their fucking land back. We are on soil land. I always wonder what, well, modern day America and modern day Canada would look like if the year didn't, well, Europe. Yeah, I would wonder that too. I guess again, it's so like, as the ever friend Joy the Indigenous Heretic might like, talk about on like a old episode of Mind Skip the Leftist, uh, Corey John my friend Corey Johnson's live podcast, and Joy, I, the Joy fire linder the joy i raise money for or like uh, talk about as well too uh that's the same joy that like um was on this uh episode of the mind the skeptical leftist as joey the indigenous heretic and they talked about like listen it's like no they're the 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 indigenous people on like turtle island would welcome like white people as well too it's just a like, kind of white people that they welcome it the welcome explorers and the explorers always uh, came to like a uh, turtle island and other places as well too and visit and like explore like indigenous like uh nations and indigenous like tribes and indigenous cultures because like no they are welcome explorers if you want to know uh, about the lakota people want to know about like the cherokee want to know about the hopi want to know about the navajo want to know about the dumawash want to know about puwa tuala Tuleup, Tuleup, uh, Snohomish, all these kind of people. They're, uh, I can't say all, but I'm sure most of them will welcome you for exploring and want to be curious and want to like learn things and want to ask questions and then want to want to know how like the Lakota people live. Uh, and that sort of thing too. Oh yeah, they'll welcome explorers. It's the colonizers that the indigenous people have issues with. Because like, in order to colonize any kind of place where people are already living in as well too trying to like take that place and make it something else or something like that you kind of had to do a genocide at the very least do a forced displacement of people forcing people off their lands until you can like live here and in and that is a form of genocide forcing people off their lands and now the uh, genocide happening against like indigenous people is just horrific because they just slaughtered people uh, the like giving people like uh, blankets with like a bunch of diseases that are not used to that they actually did happen because those people just want to kill off the indigenous people and take their lands. Um, the, the whole boldly pulpit of like discovery doctrine, which it's like, even though I think the Pope. And the Catholic Church now has, like, said, oh, yeah, that was a bad thing that we did, uh, the Discovery Doctrine. Even they, the most conservative, like, uh, church organization on, like, the planet, or one of the most conservative, like, a religious organization on the planet, even they said they did bad, I think. I could be correct on that. But the Discovery Doctrine was still cited in, like, U.S. law, like, in the 1800s. And, like, uh, still cited as law in today. So, which is interesting for the atheists that want a separation of church and state. The creation of the United States of America came from the Discovery Doctrine. A Pope, a Catholic Church, holy pulpit. Yeah, so, like, the creation of the United States of America is, like, cited in that. And cited in the U.S. law. 
So if you really wanted to like separate and church and state, you have to get rid of the United States of America. And I'm actually for that as well, too. Dismantle the United States of America as it is so that we can give land back to the uh, tribal nations. Ah. So anyway, to do on Native the communities passed down rich cultures like knowledge and the traditions and the ways of life. I want to like interrupt and like say that sadly one of the like the tragedies of like uh COVID, the pandemic that happened, that for a lot of indigenous people, um they lost a lot of like uh, older uh tribes people as well too that were original speakers. Though if Canada did that, I'm not sure where I'd go. That's fair. I, I, yeah, I'm not sure if I, where I go if I was forced off like uh, where I live now because I'm on the Dumont Watches land too. Uh, that's where I would kind of honestly be like, I'll have to like figure it out. Um, try to be accepted in the Dumont Watch as well too. Like, I'd be a, as an explorer, not a colonizer. Let's see if they welcome me. And But if I have to like, just bugger off back to like Scotland or England, I'm okay with that too. I think there's plenty of like a room still in Scotland and like, England. Honestly, the climate in Scotland and England is very similar to the Pacific Northwest, so I'm sure I can like accom uh, uh, like acclimate myself to like that uh, like environment quite easily. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess uh, Germany and France. There's probably still plenty of room in Germany and France, as well too. And I continue on. Um, oh, oh, but no, no, a lot, a lot. So a lot of like original speakers of. The indigenous cultures or indigenous languages uh in some tribes died and when they died from covid because they're elderly they're old and like uh covid or any other kind of like illness like that affects um uh marginalized people and like uh disabled people oh as much oh that's one thing i forgot to mention about like the disabled people or like disability is that like of all of any like marginalized classification of people Disability is something that anyone can be disabled. If you are you are black, if you are black, and you are queer, if you are queer, uh, you cannot become black, and you cannot become queer, for the most part. Uh, so if you were, happen to be a marginalized class, you happen to be honestly I happen to be a marginalized class, uh, a marginalized person in that way. But anyone can be disabled, so thus anyone can be a marginalized person once they become disabled. And also, there's also the saying that, like, if anyone grows old enough, then they'll become disabled as well, too. So that's why I think, like, well, like, as Martin Luther King Jr. says, injustice to one is injustice to all. It's saying that, like, we have to fight against, like, all injustices. Um, oh, God, that's trend the whole transracial trend feels weird to me yeah i just like i don't want to touch that can of worms because like i'm a white person i should not like i now now have like people of color say how they feel about like transracial because uh, at one point at one point it is a black face honestly um Okay, yeah, and uh, so I read this for the first part. Uh, tra uh, the native communities that pass down a rich culture, knowledge, and like uh, traditions and way and less. And sometimes, sadly, when it's like the elder dies and they're only like their last native speaker, so like that, sometimes the language dies with them and so on too. So the the some indigenous cultures now now there's an oh, dead language, and I don't know if there's someone like teaching that sort of. So that's one thing that kind of sadly happens to the the indigenous communities. Uh, but continue on. But throughout the, our, our history, uh, native peoples of cultures, identities, and governments were not always seen as a part of this nation, uh, but as a threat to it. And they faced violence and devastation and the cost of countless lives torn families apart and uh, caused lasting damages to tribal communities and institutions. The existence of the United States of America is what did that. And you Democrats are not one to dismantle what is the United States of America as well, too. So you just, like, you're kind of like, yeah, the genocide that happened to indigenous people was all terrible and stuff like that, but we're probably trying to be nicer to the indigenous people now. Uh, well, let's continue on. Uh, despite centuries of violence and, uh, and oppression, Native people um, remain resilient and proud. Oh, God. It's more inspiration porn there. Uh, oh, the uh, Native people are, remain resilient and proud is like, yeah, that's because they didn't die. They refused to die. You would refuse to die there too, wouldn't you, if you're being attacked? So what makes it like the indigenous people more special? 
the fact that they didn't die when they're up against like white people. Um, there's one the transgender that at one point came out as a trans woman and at another point came out as a transracial Korean person. I'm not sure which happened first, but at some point they present themselves as a Korean trans woman as they have facial reconstruction stuff done to make themselves appear more Korean and got like, yeah, oh my god. I mean, it's one thing for Michael Jackson to like get a lot of plaques of surgery that like he looks very different when he died than like what he looked like when he was uh, born or like what he looked like in the early 80s. Um, but at least Michael Jackson did not say he identifies as a white person. Or for us, I know. Uh, continue on. At least President Biden took. Hey, since President Biden, it, um, it, these elections and commercials are they make me question if I'm actually a real human or if anything is real. Yeah, is it, now there's a lot of things that we'll talk about, like with Michael Jackson as well too. Yeah, he was acquitted, acquitted in the court of law for what he was accused of, but I'm kind of still thinking that he did those things that he did. Um, but like I, I I see Michael Jackson as someone who was just like again it's when you it, you are a child star and you have abusive parents honestly I think like uh the Jacksons like parents are just abusive piece of shit if you ask me and uh, there were so many things that was like uh that uh, that Michael Jackson himself as well as the other I'm sure uh, had to deal with as, as well too. Now that doesn't excuse the terrible things that I think Michael Jackson did do to like children as it were too, um. But the, but that's kind of like his host as well too. Like with like big trees, something like that. I like it's either a reaction to something or like part of the environment, something like that. And the shit that happened, as far as I know, is that like he has a nose job done uh, because he hated his father. Yeah, no, no, yeah, exactly. And he changed his skin color naturally after being like caught in fire. Oh yeah, I wonder if that was. Oh yeah, that. And I I remember about that part actually. I don't think about it. But no, I think he they hated his father, so that's why he got the plat some of the plastic surgery that he did. No, yeah, that was a part of it, as long as like and and he has like substance abuse addiction as well too. And again, when you just have like um uh childhood trauma as well too, that what fuels addiction as well too. Um and yeah, the day pretzel is like what is real? Is this the real life? Is this is fantasy called on one side, no escape from reality. Yeah, it's just like, oh my god, it's commercials. I, I, that's why I got to her Twitch and, like, uh, YouTube Premium. I had YouTube Premium for some time, which, like, does help to not have commercials or political commercials. But also, when I, with the YouTube app, I can now listen uh, listen to YouTube videos in the background. So I can have, uh, so I can, like, listen to, like, things as, like, um... So I can listen to YouTube live streams, like, so it's just the Alchemy or other things like that as a podcast. Yeah, I've heard that the YouTube ads are so bad. Ah, uh, I see. Um... I could do one. Today, Native Americans are essential um, to the fabric of the United States. Some people don't want to think that. And the fact that, like, you also acknowledge that they're their own nations as well, too. Is that the United? Yeah. Are you saying that like the United Americans are essential fabric to the United States of America? Is kind of like the the the, the, the reality is uh, there are many like uh, tribes that like uh, I live in parts of, in live in Canada and parts of live in the U.S. Like actually, a tribe I'm part of. Uh, my great 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 aunt is like Potawatomi. I'm probably one thirty second, so it doesn't matter. I'm still white. Hey, it's nice that it's getting like get paid for the genocide that was like caused. It's like that's. I mean, reparations that need to be done to like black people as well too, and to and, and what the many like a tribe of nations want is they want the fucking treaties that were signed be honored, but many treaties are not an honor. Like the treaties that were signed to Lakota people, uh, got like um trash and like ignored like seven years later once like gold was discovered in the black hills and now the united states government owns the black hills because we put like four white supremacists on like the face of the black hills and, and it's now called mount rushmore and yeah and so it's just like 
Yeah, no, 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 yeah, that the, the Mount Rushmore is like the Black Hills. It used to be owned by the Lakota people. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Like a, a involved David. Yeah, and, and there are many, many. How Seattle got formed is that like was like a lot of broken treaties. Though I did research on like who was the Doom of Washes. Well, hello to for five D. I got back from like a holiday vacation two days ago. They deliberately didn't pay attention to like politics the whole time. I sat across like it on the back of my boat. Uh, my uh, the boat my family have rented and listened to like a sci-fi historical novel books and uh, watching people go. I hope you have a good time. Um. I went there when I was like five. I mean, I'm sure it's a cool place to go to as well, too. But I say give the Black Hills back to Lakota people and they can decide what to do with like those like uh, faces of four white supremacists that are like carved into like that like mountain. Uh, anyway, let me continue on. It's, it's worth it. Uh, since President Biden took office, he has helped champion a like, new and better chapter in like the story of our like uh, nation to nation relationships as well too. Again, we like oc we're occupying our land, but like okay, continue. Uh, he appointed the first Native American like uh, Secretary of the Interior, Dab uh, Hawley, and more than like eighty like um, Native Americans uh, holds uh, senior administration roles. He has uh, launched tribal like nations like summit and reestablished the White House Council of like Native American Affairs. Uh, he has he's protecting sacred like tri uh, tribal lands, including restoration protection for a bear sea, snow mountains, Oculite and bear bear ears and like grand is there a case like isolation national monuments. The further tribal self governance and usher in a new era of self determination, he signed a historical executive order that ensures that federal governments respect the nation to nation relationship with tribes by ensuring maximal autonomy in uh, funding our steps. Um hey Kane. And Lucidia is like is going is screaming in magical uh, girl nonsense it's like oh yeah yeah better late than never as well too. Kane, I'm in like the chapter six of this like document of the Democratic Party a, a platform about like strengthening democracy or uh, that sort of thing as well too, and now I'm on the tribal nations like part of it. Already did the LGBT. Oh yeah, that's the thing. The queer section it was LGBTQI plus. I was saying it LGBTQIA plus because I'm always essentially saying LGBTQ LGBTQIA plus. Uh, yeah, you'd be scared. Honestly, it's like I have to like force myself to read the rest of this thing and not just interrupt myself but, like every time I read a sentence. Um. But no, the but the LGBTQIA plus section didn't have the A. It just like it was it was just LGBTQI plus. So that was that thing, and I did read the disability section as well too, which is like yeah, it, it, in both the queer section and the disability section, it was a bunch of inspirational porn shit as well too. That I have the issues with. It's like if you want to, but like I'm gonna like uh, come back to this part. See, if you want to ensure maximum autonomy to like the tribal nations, how about you give them their land back? Give them their land back. The, the United, the United States, you say that the United, States, the United States, that the tribal nations are a part of the fabric of the United States of America. Is, is you're saying that we're like a gelatinous blob that absorbs the tribal nations, which honestly they probably feel like it as well too, because they were uh, many of them were forced to assimilate. In order to like live, they have to like cut ties with like their native uh, heritage, like cut their hair, or go to like reform schools and something like that, like Catholic schools and something like that, or just die, as many of them did. Again, genocide. Many different ways to do the genocide and forcing people out of their homes in order to occupy their land that is a form of genocide. Uh, displacing people is a form of genocide. In Wisconsin, we got a lot of native tribes still. Yeah, it's like Ace of Rage shirt. That never. Yeah, exactly. Kane as well too. Yeah, and there's um, yeah. I look up where I whose land I'm on. I'm on the Dumoulin's land. There's also like, unfortunately, I kind of know the a lot of the names of the tribes around here because either name of city like Puyallup, name of like actual county in Washington State, uh, Snohomish, or it's like, of course, the name of the casinos like Muckleshoot and Tulalip. Uh, you act like the United States is just like a the spawn that absorbs the tribal nerves. I mean, it kind of is. That's why it's a melting pot, isn't it? That's a good point, Cydia. That's a good point. <sighs> but, the, yeah, the only way the tribal nations are, like, part of the fabric of the United States of America is that you're saying that they have to become part of us. I wonder how, like, uh, populated uh, North America was before, like, uh, Europeans landed. 
it's hard to know. But also, it's like the most of the tribal nations, for them that I'm aware of, did not use the land like the Europeans use it, which is the thing. The discovery doctrine basically, I think, pretty much basically said if the the land and it was not being put to use in the European eyes of what we mean by being put to use, that like Europeans can and settlers can just like take the land because it was not optimally used. Uh, and that, and so that's why discovery doctrine was like a a thing that like in it basically uh made it legal or made it um given an excuse to settlers who just like do genocide and like kick like the indigenous people off their lands as well too because they were not using the land properly if i remember correctly and uh joey the indigenous here to talk about the discovery doctrine in the episode that like they did of like um the uh, mine is the leftist uh, podcast as well, uh, an episode, and uh, but also remember if like the creation of the United States of America is all because like uh, that didn't mean like the land was vacant. Um, there are probably parts of the land that was like vacant, honestly, and like yeah, you can like set up uh, like uh, a town there if you want to as well too. But most, uh, um, it, like probably would have been like very different though. Like my province, at least a uh, part of it was like swamp and incredibly thick with like trees and something like that. Yeah. And like, I'm not sure. And I think the indigenous people is like, it was like a lot of trees, a lot of swamps, a lot of forests, a lot of things. They would not like civilize the place as well too. They would work. Most of the U.S. is a vacant day. Honestly, it is. If, if you look, if you're like, if you look at like a satellite picture top down, looking onto like the United States of America at night, uh, nighttime for the USA, for all of the USA and see all the lights on in like on the USA it's basically the usa in terms of population density it's like a it's a series of islands because it's just all the major cities that have the lights on and so there's a lot of advanced emptiness across the usa i don't know it, now maybe i should it, it should not like uh um assume that like a tribe is uh, to update, something that I said in the past that pisses off some uh, other far leftists is that I think if the majority of people born in tribal territories, even if they're like descended from the like, colonizers, want to like stay in the U.S. democracy, means you should prioritize like that above like tribal sovereignty. I mean, I should like post that as like a standalone video up on like my YouTube channel. But in the past, I did like read um a essay by Indigenous Action. Um, there, I'm sure there's a lot of Indigenous in Canada as well too. Um, but I guess that's probably because like so much of the land is in the hospital. Yeah, it's probably that too. But there was like a essay by like a, a group called Indigenous Action. They also have a podcast too, but they haven't like updated it recently. And in addition, actions kind of like said voting is harm reduction. Okay, harm reduction to the who, which is by like they kind of argue that like by voting uh, in the election so well too, and many indigenous people do vote honestly, and when in other tri uh, tribes as well too, like the Mohawk, um, the Potawatomi, uh, a lot of other indigenous tribes, they will say the border crossed them as it were too. They they were just like there living there for generations, and then suddenly. The United States of America and Canada fell on top of them, essentially. And now, if you're in those, like, uh, tribal uh, nations, uh, uh, those indigenous tribes that, like, are uh, parts of you are in the U.S., uh, uh, yeah, the electoral college should be get rid of, honestly. They press all agree. If you're in, uh, if you're a part of a tribal nation like the Lakota or the, uh, or uh, Potawatomi or, like, a uh, Mohawk, and... It, some of them do choose to like be a registered voter in the United States of America, even though they live in the Canadian part of their tribe and nation, so that they can vote in the American election system as well too. But there is an argument to be made that like by voting for in the elections in the United States of America, you kind of like legitimizing the concept or the existence of the United States of America, which I I don't know, it, which like to dismantle the United States of America as it is, is going to be a very long process as well too, and it won't happen instantly and overnight as well too. Um, I, I don't know, it's just like, it, it, 
it, vote if you want to, sure, but it's like, I'm not going to like, try to pressure people to vote. I'm, that's not what I'm going to do. Um, so anyway, I'll let me continue reading this document. Um, he has invested in supporting Native families and communities. Democrats have passed, uh, Democrats and President Biden signed the American Rescue Plan, which made the largest direct uh, federal investment in tribal nations in history, along with actual historical funds in the bipartisan infrastructure film. Again, when I see bipartisan, I get, that's a red flag to me. Because, like, the fuckwickens, the fascists have to, like, read to that thing, too. Um... Well, it remind well, it took out they remind me that I did read like a essay, uh, about a year or two ago from Indigenous Action, uh, uh talk about like voting. I like read a like four years ago, uh, the case against voting that I as an essay I found on the Anarchist like library, and so I posed I did post that to my YouTube channel as well too. It was like around twenty twenty when that election was happening, but uh, like I think was so I think it was around midterms, so so it was two years ago, uh. I read an essay by, like, Indigenous Action called... It wasn't called The Case Against Voting. I forgot what it is. I basically, like, uh, kind of, like, searched for the tag of, like, anti-voting on the Anarchist Library and found that essay by Indigenous Action, uh, where they argue... Um, because a lot of people say voting is harm reduction, but, like, Indigenous Action would, like, argue, like, okay, but, like, harm reduction for who? But anyway, continue on. And don't worry, Tufo. They no, uh, I don't. Uh, and they're not in trouble. Um, and so, like, so the uh, additional funds and historical funds in the bipartisan infrastructure and in inflation reduction act as well too. Again, I I wish that like those and the things would like do a lot more and it wasn't carve us for the fossil fuel industry, but like you have to like get Joe Manson's uh vote to like, vote those things to get those passed. And so Joe Manson won carve outs and like um protection for the fossil fuel industry, which is why climate change is just gonna be something we're gonna constantly have to live with essentially. Anyway, continue on. Democrats have expanded the child tax credit. I wish they would like uh, kept it going though, but like oh well um, uh, pushing and uh, pushing native ch uh, child uh poverty to a record low in t 2021. Uh, we secured the first ever like advancement appropriations for the Indians um uh, health services, and President Biden also the defund the defeated defended the uh indian child welfare act as well as and will continue to do so for decades now, native communities have been like devastated by the, a, 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 a epidemic of the disappearances and killings too often without resolutions justice or accountability no no there's this uh, issue that's called like um m m i w missing and murdered indigenous women it is a big problem honestly Kind of like the feminicides is happening in Mexico, uh, and that sort of thing too. Um, a lot of white supremacy, patriarchy, and that sort of thing too. Uh, instead of colonialism, okay, on. President Biden is uh, taking an action to address the missing and murdered indigenous uh, people crisis. Yeah, that was what I was referring to. Uh, continue on. Uh, the Department of Justice and the Interior working together to accelerate investigations. DOI. DOI and creating a unit to like work on the uh, this issue and FBI hiring Paul's and personnel to focus on like, these cases after Trump failed to like reauthorize the violence act against a uh, women's act Democrats finally did and include a new criminal justice uh, jurisdiction of of tribal courts. The administration awarded $68 million in grants to support uh, Native communities to provide services uh, and promote justice for survivors of like domestic violence, sexual assault, uh, dating violence, stalking, and trafficking. Um, this administration has continued to implement the Non-Invisible Act Commission recommendations to address violent crime and uh, high rates of people reported missing in Native communities and relaunched the North American Tribal a trilateral working group on like violence against indigenous women and girls. And the administration has like issued like a final, a final fee to trust a land acquisition and rules change to Native American like grave protections and the reparations act regulations. All right, at least some talk about some reparations well too. I will. I'd love to like, get more on that back, but if there's anything that it pushes like towards that as well too, that's great. Again, but again, also, on, on the actual treaties that you signed with indigenous people.
And please, and please, and please, just like respect people's grades. Respect grades regardless of who it is, but it definitely ditches the people's grades. Uh, continue on. Uh, Trump's uh, presidency was disastrous to like native communities. Okay, well, here's the thing too. This is why I say that, like all presidents are bastards. All presidents of the United States of America are bastards of some form or another. Because in order to be the president of the United States of America, you have to be basically a protector of white supremacy. A protector of colonialism because the existence of like the United States of America was a white supremacist settler colonist project. Um, and the two five seeds, I think what I was trying to say is I believe the children of colonizers should have a uh, right to dem democratically decide what happens to the territory they were born in, regardless of the atrocities that like led them and to be born there. I guess I guess 255 AD. I'm not afraid if the project of land back goes so far as the indigenous people saying kicking the white people out too. Essentially, even though I understand your point, if like but they were born there, they didn't choose to be born there, as most people don't choose to be born. Do you think American government has like similar uh, has similar with Nazis? Here's the thing, though. The Nazis learned from the United States government about, like, uh, our, like, uh, genocidal projects against indigenous people. So think of the, so think of the USA saying to the Nazis, how, think about, like, the, that old, like, um, uh, think of the old, the, uh, um, uh, PSA of like the father seeing like his son has like cigarettes is long to him. Oh, where do you learn to like smoke? And the son says, I learned by watching you. Think of that dad as the United States of America and the son being Nazis and said like cigarettes is genocide. No, no, no. It's actually documented as well too. The Hitler did actually like look into like how the United States of America were genociding uh, there are uh, uh, the projects of genociding the indigenous people as well too, like internment camps. Honestly, the, con the concept of concentration camps did not start with the Nazis. Uh, is a uh, old the uh, term of internment camps that started like a long time ago as well too. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, Kane. That's a clear example. Just look like Henry Ford. Henry Ford, who was named in Mein Kampf, and some liberals still kind of like uh, respect like Henry Ford for like his paying up like workers like a fair wage so that they can own the cars that they were building. But Henry Ford did that for just his interest as a capitalist, so that, like, in order for him to, like, continue to, like, make money off of, like, the Ford cars he was, like, building, the workers that were building those cars, yes, they found their Ford, yeah. Um, you know, this is true. His name, he was named in Mein Kampf. Hitler liked Henry Ford, and Henry Ford liked Hitler. So it was like in okay, so it's like kind of rare for yes, I guess it's kind of like rare for a CEO of a company to pay his like mm. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Jeff Fretzel. I mean, it, oh, there's a book that I I did actually read the book myself, uh, like on my own, uh, but I think I should probably read it on stream eventually as well too. It won't mention about like Henry Ford as much as well too, but. Big business and fascism. There are a lot of big businesses that like uh, aided and support fascism well too. Um, oh, especially in Germany, and Italy. I mean, from like what I understand, Ford was a very, con very conservative, right? Oh yes, uh, anti-Semitic too. Honestly, Henry Ford is anti-Semitic as well too. Oh, and not not always, but when someone's very, if all intents and purposes, like Ford's a Nazi. I agree, Kane. Honestly, for all intents and purposes, Ford's a Nazi. Again, he liked Hitler. He got named in Mein Kampf. And Hitler liked him. I, I, I think like Henry Ford did directly financially support the Nazi party, too. So, yeah. Definitely. Uh, oh, I should... Uh, Cuck philosophy. One could argue he was like a proto-Nazi. Uh, yeah, exactly. 
Uh, oh, that's reminds me. It, his like YouTube name is like a little different now, but I know him as Cuck Philosophy. That was like an old YouTube name that he had, but it's like the same channel. I bet if you search Cuck Philosophy, I think his like new channel will come pop up. But he has done a video recently of how the middle class voted for fascism, and I want to see that video because I bet it uh, talks about uh, like how the conservative uh, middle class of like Germany agreed to like vote for fascism, vote for the Nazi Party anyway, because like. They, I'm imagining that his argument, his argument is that like the middle class or the rich, the people is only the one to protect their wealth too, and they saw that like the communists or the left was a bigger threat to their profits and their wealth as well too, as opposed to fascists, which is why they won't decide with fascists. But it's not to say that like. But it is tr also true, as like Robert Evans talked about in like the Behind the Bastards, the old Behind the Bastards episode, but still a great episode of the bastards who helped Hitler uh, gain power. Because along the way, so like you would think, well, wow, well, if that bastard didn't do this, didn't do this, didn't do this, like one person saved uh, Hitler's life because they these they saw him who was about to commit suicide and prevented him from committing suicide. Hey, she's not a bastard in itself because of doing that. Because like, how the hell would she know this was when Hitler was in his twenties or in the nineteen twenties or something like that? So well before like any of his stuff and like who's about to take power or join the political parties. So how would she know that he was going to be the monster they become? Uh, but one of the bastards that helped Hitler gain power was, in fact, Joseph Stalin. Because Joseph Stalin told the Germ the Communist Party of Germany uh, to not, like, side with the liberals. And essentially to form a coalition, a, 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 a election coalition or electoral coalition with the liberals who just, like, the... Uh, take control of, uh, of government or win the election so that the Nazis would not get power. No, it was Joseph Stalin thought it was a bigger threat for like the communists to like, or state communists, honestly. So the communists, uh, so he thought that Joseph Stalin would be like worse for like the communists to like side with like the, uh, the liberals and to have the Nazis like uh, take power. So yes, it is. So it's also so while it's true that like the middle class voted for fascism, or I imagine that like what Cox philosophy says in this video, I should watch the video itself before I like put my foot in the mouth further. But it's also true that like because the communists weren't limp, that that like Joseph Stalin decreed the Communist Party of Germany do not work with liberals or the moderates in order to like electorally defeat the Nazis in an election, that that would allow like a uh, uh, Hitler to gain power. Because remember, the Nazis were voted into power, while Mussolini uh, took power in a coup. All right, where was I? Okay, yeah, yeah, that, I think I'm just like, eh, that's all I'm talking about. Do you think they will go to war depending on who wins the election? No, that pretzel. I, even back in 2020, some of my friends were kind of worried because of the this and this and like, they, well, it, this is actually is kind of on topic as well too because re, since I'm reading the Democratic Party platform, uh, so this is relates to the election and so this is like, it relate, that your question relates to the election as well too. Uh, but even back in like uh, 2020, some people were wondering, is this going to be civil war? Is this going to be civil war? Not a full hour like outbreak civil war like the one we had in 1860s no i don't think so what i can imagine that happened though is basically the equivalent of what happened in ireland known as the troubles so i see pockets of violent actions and it happened you kind of always see this like um uh, happening as well too like uh the violence against like oh the two for five i see your comment i worry it's, it's, it's soon um like the violence happened at uh, drag time reading hours, essentially. Basically, like, and th this was, they attempted to do this, like, in, like, Springfield, uh, Ohio, recently, because of the lies that J.D. Vance and Trump spread about, like, Haitian immigrants eating the uh, people's pets, which is not true at all. Um, and, but yet the Proud Boys only, like, mustered up, like, two dozen people at most. Um, but I can see some, like, pockets of, like, Anyone who would like try to like, go a war against the United States and uh, armed forces would uh, lose, or at least anyone who would uh, have access to nukes. I agree, uh, Kane. I mean, so I see pockets of violence and sparking, 
almost regardless of like who wins too. But like I mentioned, that would ha more so it would happen under Trump. But I can definitely see some pocket of violence happening, but not a full blown out like civil war. Uh, but anyway, two five they say this is like something I try not uh, 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 not to argue, uh, no argue with other leftists about uh, because it likely never matter. But I think uh, like asking you know, all the white people to leave uh, say Australia would be a genocide. I hold in my thought uh, on this topic because there's no realistic scenario where the aboriginals gain political power to make that happen and or would want it if they did maybe maybe you know, like most of the indigenous people would just want to be like left alone and so that if they we do do land back where they'll just like get like certain there'll be less in the united states of america and more of these like mini nations or nations within the united states of america like here's the navajo nation here's like the lakota nation here's the dumawash nation and here's like the and maybe I am allowed to stay living where I live now, but then where I live is not no longer the United States of America, but maybe it becomes the Duma Wash as well, too. So maybe that'll happen. I don't know. But 255 ZD, I basically accept that I am a settler. I'm a white person living in the United States of America, thus I'm a settler. Because, uh, yeah, and true, I did not ask to be born here either. Her, but like, I benefit from considered colonialism because I lived in the United States of America. It was a prison for the Brits, but like as like was mentioned in Vault Shakes like a uh, stream that time when the uh, that uh, Australia came up, is that like there were people living there too. So it's kind of like uh, the Dev uh, that professor you probably remember in school as well too, how like like Christopher Columbus, how it's been said that the he discovered the Americas. No no. The Americas was not discovered. Turtle Island was always here, and there were, like, people living here for, like, centuries, or, like, thousands of years, generations. Same thing with Australia. It was always there. It probably was called something else. I'm not sure what the indigenous people of Australia calls it. Same with New Zealand. I'm not sure if they probably had their own name. Uh, I say Turtle Island because that's what the indigenous people on North America call the continent that we know as North America. They call it Turtle Island. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there's, like, a name for Australia that the Aboriginal people have. Same thing with the uh, Maori, Maori people of, like, New Zealand. I probably can, like, look it up and find that out, too. Um... But, uh, but no, yeah. Um, once the British people got there, or uh, they kind and colonized like uh, Australia as well too. They did. They at first uh, they just like send their prisoners to like Australia as well too. That is true. That like the British people did send like their prisoners to Australia, and that's how kind of like Australia formed. But also, it's like it was settler colonialism because the Aboriginal people were always there, and they also experienced the genocide too. Imagine being hex out there. I mean, the Aboriginal, uh, all the indigenous people that live in Australia, I'm sure they manage. I don't know if they like uh, live out in the desert or the like, uh, the vacant, arid parts of like Australia as well too. That's inhospitable. Oh, uh, because why would anyone live there? But they will like they probably live in places where people can live and probably live there in in, in generations and so on like that. As the indigenous people tend to live in pockets of places where there's like water, resources, food, and like that sort of things. As for yeah, as a prisoner of Britain to like Australia, yeah, I don't know what you mean. But I don't want to try and imagine the live as a prisoner because I want to abolish prisons. I'm prison abolitionist. I'm police and prison abolitionist as well too. But anyway, um, I'm going to read this paragraph and then in five minutes I'm going to have to like I take a break. So like. Um, Trump presidency was a disaster for Native communities. Uh, tribal communities were disproportionately harmed by Trump's disastrous like response to the COVID pandemic. No, this was true. Uh, as, as well as any other marginalized person as well, though. Trans people, black people were like disproportionately affected by, by the COVID pandemic. Because if you were poor, you were like much more likely to be affected by the COVID pandemic. Seriously. Um, continue on. Seeing higher hospitalization rates in, 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 than any other demographics, he worked to sabotage the ACA and and repeal it as if in, in, in repeal it if he gets back to the White House. He tries to look cut agencies that are programs important to the uh, tribal communities and like a uh, job training and business development uh, funding for like uh, tribal scholarship and educational programs. But also, 
no president is ever great about the indigenous issues. Maybe there are some that are better than others. Like, I'm sure, like, uh, Kamala Harris or President Biden would be better for indigenous issues than, like, Donald Trump, for sure, because Donald Trump is a white supremacist and a fascist. But all presidents are bastards because in order to be the president of the United States of America, you're the president of a settler colonial country. And, like, continuing uh, the existence of like the United States of America, uh, you kind of are continuing the settler colonial project in the United States of America, which was a white supremacist project from its inception, I would argue. Um, so in the in part of the process of like, fighting against white supremacy, I know it sounds like a stretch, it's to dismantle like the United States of America, I see. But I also see dismantling the what exists, what we call right now the United States of America is part of the project, I see it as part of the project of land back. But then again, the indigenous people should lead the land back project and should tell us what they want. Now, if they are fine with like the white people saying, then the like, white people can say. Um, but I'll listen to the indigenous people on that aspect. I live in the Doom Watch lands. I want to know what the Doom Watch wants. Right now, the Doom Watch want to be actually recognized. The Doom Watch are not recognized as a, a recognized tr a tribe in the United States of America. They're not. Uh, while the Potawatomi, Lakota, Navajo, Hopi, uh, Mohawk, they are actually all recognized. Uh, Chippewa, Cherokee. I think I already said Cherokee. But the Doom Watch is not. And here's the thing. The name Seattle, the city of Seattle, got its name from the chief of the Dumu Wash that was the chief at the time in the 1850s, when Seattle was discovered or settled. And that was, like, done because of terrible trees that they they forced the Dumu Wash to sign, and so it too. And they received horrible treatment from the white settlers at the time as well, too, in the 1860s and up to the 1900s. And Yaba yeah, believes no matter how you get in there, you should have a right to, like, take part in a different... Uh, I played depend uh, deciding on what should happen in a place where you're born and spent uh, most of your in China. We'll see. We'll see. Honestly, two fifth of the I'm fine with like bubbling off back to like uh England or Scotland if I have to. It will suck, yeah. But I'm fine with that. Believe it or not, I'm fine with that. Uh I'm sure others are not, but like they're also like they. I'm sure others are not, and like they'll, they'll they they like to like like to say here and say here, and if like they, they are allowed to say, they're allowed to say. I I don't know what that makes me uh, as for too, but like, uh, I guess we'll agree to disagree on this too. Five D. Alright, I'm back. Alright, I'm back. Sending back down, transiting back over, and thank you for the follow. I'm not sure how to read your name, honestly. Uh, but I'm not sure if I also want to read your name, too, because, like, half of my brain is thinking, like, wait, is there, like, a, a April's, like, a slur in the middle of that name? So, I, uh, too, this is why I don't like arguing about, like, like this. Hey, fellow leftists, how do you feel about a ridiculous and plausible scenario where Native American and uh, indigenous people uh, adopt some like indigenous superiority ideology and also have like political power to evict all white people? Two for five D. Honestly, I'll come to that bridge when it, 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 I'll think about that if that's a possibility. But. I have to like uh I have to like uh let indigenous people uh, lead the land back movement because it won't, it's a that's the thing that's like personally affects them. I guess I don't fear that as a possibility. To I really do not fear that like uh, indigenous people have like adopt a like, indigenous superiority like ideology. Maybe some would, but like I don't, I, I don't know if I have like met an indigenous person that has like a an indigenous superiority complex. Because right now is like my point is like it's a high political assumption that will never happen. I guess I never say never, though. Because I want to believe that we can dismantle capitalism. And I do want to believe that, like, the existence of the United States of America can eventually be dismantled. Maybe not in my lifetime, but, like, eventually. 
Also, I think like I don't think like an empire that, like uh, is able to sustain itself uh, past for two hundred forty five two hundred fifty years, and like the United States of America is like two hundred and like forty seven forty eight years, two hundred uh, two hundred forty seven years. I think I don't know. I can't do math. But anyway. Continuing on. Uh, the Democrats will continue like uh, promoting nation to nation partnership with tribal nations. We will continue to strengthen and respect for like uh, tribal sovereignty, the federal trust uh, responsibility, uh, federal treaties rights, and like native history. Uh, including educating the federal like uh, workforce, providing best practices for sacred sites, and ensuring like a, a Native American history is recognized. Listen to the fucking indigenous people then. Listen to what they want. Um, because they still like are they still want to like for the trees to be respected. Uh, Democrats will continue working and to like make uh, federal resources for tribal nations like more accessible and then protecting like uh, health, education, like safety and welfare in like Indian country, and particularly for like native women, uh, children, and families. We will make IH, uh, IHS uh, uh, funding mandatory. We will. We will invest in housing in tribal communities and support tribal com tribal conversation and through like a co stewardship of like a, a public lands and water. Honestly, they like do uh, honestly they think the digital people are better. Like uh, like it, well, like they will they have more like a uh, knowledge of, um, about like how to take care of like the lands like here on Turtle Island. Hopefully, we with regard to abolishing capitalism, but I mean, we'll never have to deal with like um, the natives and uh, evacuating white people. Why are you afraid of that, two five five D? Because like you're in the UK, are you on other people's lands? I don't. Uh, that, that's I guess that's my question. Because uh, like something that Joey the Indigenous Heritage said is like um, that Europe was colonized. By Rome, essentially. And so, like, the, like, um, sin, if you would say it, of, like, a set of colonialism started all the way back with Rome. And so, to decolonize it, that would be something. I wonder if there's indigenous, like, uh, French people, or if there's, like, indigenous communities in, like, France or, like, Germany. I mean, that's a fair point, Kane. Um, because also I I don't think like the marginalized people were just going to be as terrible as all white people it's not my point is like I think arguing that's a waste of time for that reason okay did I bring it up or did you bring it up then? I think yeah, I'm I want to reverse the of colonialism. Cause I think that colonialism is of course of just up by hierarchy. And as an anarchist who is against uh, like any and all like course of unjustified hierarchies, I also hate hierarchies in general too. But I understand that, like uh, uh, there can be consensual hierarchies that are fair and fine and something like that. And those can say. Um, but of course, for unjustifiable hierarchies, especially of course of unjustifiable hierarchies, the domination should be dismantled and cease to exist. And so colonialism is like a, a course of unjustifiable hierarchy domination. It's not. And settler colonialism is like, it's, of course, it ties into imperialism, that's the word too, but it also ties into like uh, capitalism as well too, because uh, for because the primary accumulation of capitalism was really just like stealing indigenous people's lands and resources. It's coming in there saying, no, we own this place because we have the money to do so and like the manpower to force you out of this place and now uh, we're going to take over the mines, the gold and the uh, copper and the ores and like uh, the coltan and something like that. It, the, that's what Europe did to like Africa. That's like uh, a lot of people did to like the global south as it were too, like Latin America, Southeast Asia, the Middle East. And because, like, of, of the of the perpetual growth and something like that, where it's just like, we need to grow by 3% each year, or else we are failing. 
and there's like the uh, cap the capitalism needs exponential growth so they have to like uh, conquer and go over and take over the stuff and resources from somewhere um but anyway, I go back to this document. We will continue to usher in the next era of a tribal self-determination. And Democrats will invest in... Like, okay, if you're, are you serious about like the tribal self-determination, give them back their land. Honor the treaties that was signed so far ago. Continue on. And Democrats will invest in public safety and justice, including an increasing number of officers and investigators on grounds addressing the uh, crisis of missing and murdered indigenous people and supporting... Uh, VA WA uh, programs, including new grants uh, to address the missing and murdered indigenous peoples uh, crisis. Yeah, you just have to fight against like a lot of like white supremacy instead of colonialists, and in order to do that too, as well too. But that is an epidemic that is happening. Outro video time. Yes, this time I'm actually making an outro video instead of just having text on here. So if you like the video. Press the button to give it a like. Helps out the video as well, too. If you do dislike the video, that button is there, too, as well. Oh, doesn't matter. Helps the algorithm. It helps the video out of the way. Uh, you can also leave a comment if you disagree with something that I said, or you just want to say, hey, I like this video, or something like that. That will help out the video as well, too. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as well, too. Um, this, yep, getting those ups, numbers up always helps as well, too. And uh, also, don't forget to share around the video, too, like, always your friends uh, all your enemies on the social medias and be like hey check this out or listen to this or will you check out this person that's uh, rambling about so many different things yeah that will help the video as well too and also over on the sides of my face right now or covering face as well too should be like the buttons for like over you no know, over here for like to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also social justice out me if you haven't checked out that like uh the a channel it's a weekly uh live stream show the youtube live stream show that I, I i'm sitting around with a bunch of my friends a bunch of other anarchists and leftists and socialists to talk about like current events news uh politics feminism anarchism socialism communism and various other things even cats even like pop culture as well too and over on like the of here should be uh some videos as well too for like that i recommend you check out as well or it's over here or i don't know it around my face there's should be those buttons that you can click on as well too all right thank you for watching